Okay, so uh, here we are again. This is, uh, I guess, episode three in Adventures in Rod Building. Uh, this time around, I'm going to set up my under ramp for my um, first guide here. Um, and this, this time around, I'm just gonna go mark it out and do the wrap and then apply the, the color preserver to it. Um, and then I'll let it dry and then I'll add a, uh, a decorative part to it at some point. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to set up the, the under wrap and get that going. So you'll see that I have my, my guide in place already. I have the, um, just a little band on here holding it. Um, and I'm just gonna mark out the place where I'm gonna put the, the under wrap and then I'll take off the guide and then start doing the wrap itself. So we wanna mark out the spots uh, on the blank itself so I know where to start and stop the wrap. Um, I like to have it a little bit past at the end of the guide foot, but not so much. Um, you'll see that I actually filed it down a little bit. Some people like to file it down more than that, but it should be fine for what I have going on here. And to do that, I just use my, my file, the file that I have here. And I just do that, yeah, just file it down. And so it's not as bad as what it was before. So uh, for purpose of this, I'm gonna mark it out. Just use my wax pencil. Just put a mark here, and a mark here, and I'll take this off, and start with the wrap itself. So I already have my my thread that I want to use. Uh, it's Pro Wrap Color uh, 825. Uh, it's a it's a gray color, so I'll just have this as a solid solid color for my under wrap. And then I already set it up. Uh, so I have the, the, the one part of the thing underneath and then I have the washer on top with the spring and another stuff that it comes with and just run it through. And I like to slide this back and forth so it's inconvenient for me. Uh, I just go over and then fold it back a couple times and I flip this. Flip the tag end over and then wrap it away from me. And just line up the thread so it's tight. And pack it so it's pretty good there. Still not really good yet. Um, Once I got a couple wraps over it so it's nice and secure. I'm gonna come in here with my little scissors, pull it back, cut it off as close as I can. Now since I'm just wrapping over this, it's not that big a deal, but I can trim it a little bit better than that. It's not that great. If I can get it. That's good enough. Okay, so now I'll just wrap it up and I want to take it all the way over here so um, at this point I'll probably just pause the recording get this done and then uh, start over so when you see this again the wrap should be done okay so we're back uh, as you can see I got most of it done so this is a good bit uh, that took me about 20 minutes just because it's the hand wrapper. Um, I'm gonna go up to this dot here. So I'm just gonna continue wrapping and then I'll tie off when we get close to the end here. Um, you notice that I'm spinning it and packing as I go. Uh, it makes it easier and it keeps the space down between the, between the thread, between each turn. Um, 
and then everyone's gonna go over and burnish out some of the spots that are still there that I may have missed during the previous wraps. Um, one thing I noticed, I'm not quite sure why, I guess it's the way my setup is, every once in a while it gets a little too tight and then I have to adjust the thread carriage. Uh, something I'm still working on, I'm not quite sure how to make it better, but it's something I gotta deal with. And it still works just fine, so we'll go with it for now. Um, just about here, so once I get closer, then I'll, I got a piece of, uh, piece of black thread that I'll use to use as a, as a tie loop underneath. And I'll put around five to seven wraps over that so that I can pull the tag end through and have a, a good connection at the end there. So we're getting pretty close. Just, all right, so now uh, I get my piece of black thread I have so you can see it a little bit better anyway. And I just, Turn it into a loop, slide it underneath, so then the tag end is over here. And I just continue wrapping, make several wraps, make sure that it's not overlapping anywhere. And just keep wrapping it over. I have it come a little short of my China marker. up my thread and I make sure I have pressure on the top here so the thread doesn't bounce and unravel everywhere. And I take the tag end, put it through the loop that I have here. I can get the damn thing. And push it through. Keep that tight. Take the other tag end pull underneath, and once it starts to let go of the tag end, pull that through. All right, so now you see we have this hanging out here. You make sure everything's packed up. So it's looking pretty good. Take off the china mark that's left there. Take my scissors, cut that off. So there's still a little bit left. So I don't know where my, since I'm just doing that, I won't, I won't break out the alcohol burner. I'll just use the, use a lighter for this. And just get the, so then I'll get rid of the extra little bit that's showing up there still. So that's not bad. All right, so that's my under wrap. Now I'm gonna apply some CP to it. And let it go in the rod dryer for a little bit. I'm gonna put one on, one application of it now. Then I'll wait several hours and then add another one. All right, so of course that's now out of the screen. So that's just great. All right, so I'm gonna stop it and restart it. Okay, so I finally got it repositioned. That took a little bit longer than I wanted it to. Okay, so now I got my little plastic cup. Got my CP. Just put it a little bit inside the, in the cup. And I have a little foam brush, a little Home Depot home brush. And just liberally add it to the thread. I like to just dab it on, just so it doesn't disrupt the, the threads very much. I coat it completely. As you can see, my, my rod dryer is on and spinning. Uh, it helps it to completely penetrate the thread. 
uh, at an even pace. And I'm not worrying about having too much on here. As far as CP is concerned, you can't have too much. Epoxy, that's a different story. But we'll get to that when it's time to uh, put the finish on. Okay, so I got that on there. I went a little too far there, so let me take that off where the thread isn't. Preferably wait until the thing goes down. Now you'll see that I have my tag in still showing up there. That's fine. I could sand that down after all the CPs added. See that I have a little much here, so I'll just get that off. Looks like I have a little imperfection going on here. Um, see if I can wipe that down. Uh, it appears I got some dirt on there, so that's definitely not good. All right. So by the looks of it, it's it's on there. Oh wait, I could definitely not get that off. That's not not what I wanted. It looks to be a fuzzy of some sort. I'll leave it on there to be part of the finish and that'd be very bad. All right. So other than that, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I'll let this spin for, I don't know, probably at least an hour. And then I'll add another, another application of the CP. And then I'll probably put on a third one just to make sure that the thread is completely saturated. And then once I'm done that, then I will add, then I'll start doing my decorative wrap. That'll be part of a different episode. Um, I don't know if you notice from the from the shot, but I have my the the grips and everything are already on there. Uh, I guess when I do an original build from start to begin from beginning to end, then I'll go through that. But for this purpose, I'll just do the under wrap stuff for now. All right, and um, thanks for viewing, and don't forget to don't forget to subscribe. All right, thank you. Bye.